Right, I'm going to show you how to use OBS Studio as a virtual camera so that you can stream your web camera as a browser source to OBS, which is all going around in circles a little bit. But uh, you'll need to start OBS. It will have a default scene. Mine's already named as webcam. Uh, you'll need to add a source video capture device for me my web camera is a c920 so i'll call it that you can call it whatever you like it's not important the device is whatever web camera you are using if you aren't happy with the image click configure video here you can change things like um brightness contrast all of that good stuff that you'd normally be able to do inside of a webcam application um you can even do zoom things like that although mine's already too close focus that kind of thing um once you have that click apply and okay I'll save just clicking OK will save all the settings after configuring your video you need to there's one more setting you need to change leave everything below here as device default that way it will use the maximum sensor for the web camera and won't crop or drop frames etc if you have a graphics card or a decent CPU, you can use hardware decoding. That will optimize the processing of your web camera so that you don't drop frames or have to shrink the resolution. Capture audio only should be set on. Uh, ensure you're not using a custom audio device, although if you do need to make sure that it's the same as the audio device that you would be using for your group chat zoom for instance uh, if you set it to default it should be whatever your default microphone is you will then need to increase the size to be as big as your scene is uh, and center it as best you can this bit isn't uh, too important, but because the sensor for my camera is not 1920 by 1080, uh, it's not 16 by 9, I get little black bars on the side. Um, so once we're set up with here, we need to go in to virtual camera cog on the right hand side. Your, scene, your output type should be set to scene. Your output selection should be set to whatever your scene is called. Uh, click OK. And then start the virtual camera. <clears throat> the OBS Studio is now pretending it's an additional web camera with this on the screen. The next step is to open up video.ninja on a browser. My preference is Firefox. It's got the best handling of resources for this process that I've confined through my tests. Um, but whatever works for you is fine. Uh, video.ninja will take you to this page. You need to add your camera to OBS your video source will need to be virtual camera by default it's usually your web camera but at this point because that's being used by OBS studio you'll get this error if you try to use it so set that to virtual camera make sure your audio source is the same one you're using for group chat the same one that you set before if you're using an alternative audio source you can apply effects, things like blurred background, but 
it's additional processing power and I don't think it adds anything too useful um, then click start clicking start takes you to this page this is your virtual web camera as a browser source this link here at the top in green is copied if you click on it that needs to be sent to whoever is running your stream to use in OBS Studio you would then need to join a chat presumably so if you open up zoom mine's already set up by default but I can show you the settings used so again trying to use your web camera won't work here it's being used by OBS However, because OBS Virtual Camera is not a hardware resource, you can use it in multiple places at once. That's a bit blurry, but that is now using the virtual camera as the webcam. We've got to make sure that the audio is the same as you've selected the previous times. Um, other than that, you should be good to go. For anyone who is interested, I can show you how to add this as a source. So if we, if whoever is using OBS Studio would then go to create a new scene. So let's say this is group chat. Um, you can see that despite the fact that it's not the active scene the webcam virtual camera is still working so we now have a group chat and if we want to add the virtual camera let's call this ash cam ash uh, video so that we know it's the virtual uh, Adding a browser source, you would put in the link copied from Video Ninja. Change this to, um, I believe, 1300 by 900 is the size of my webcam. Um, but you can mess around with height and width to make sure it accurately fits your frame. 1920 by 1080 would be the default quite often don't use custom frame rates do control audio by OBS I'll show you what that does in a second um, page permissions give full access to OBS um, ensure that you don't use shutdown when not visible um, that's it click OK and now this is your video ninja source coming through as a webcam so if you were on a stream you'd have five of these going or however many people you've got playing seven you would set it up in your overlay lock it so you've now got this person in that place and You'll notice that I've got a microphone which is being recorded here but I've also got audio coming through Ash Video. This is the audio source that's being used by Video Ninja that was set up by whoever configured that site you, which means if you have seven players instead of like Zoom you have to just set zoom to one volume and hope everyone else adjusts their mics to match you can actively change every single person within the stream that's everything